Hello and welcome back to our channel. My name is Voke. And I am Inifome. So we finally saw Where the Crowdad Sings. This movie is actually adapted from Delia Owen's book of the same name. And this movie has said to be, it's actually created by Sony Pictures with, um, actually produced by Reese Witherspoon and Hello Sunshine. And kind of controversial because people have are asking a lot of questions like it's fact fiction and also how blacks are portrayed the stereotypical way blacks are portrayed we'll dive deeper into that now they'll just tell you what the movie is about so the story is about kaya an abandoned girl who grew up basically grew up on her own the movie has an alternative plot and they're showing us the present and also what's happening in the past and kaya grew up in a very uh, with her very abusive father her, she was abandoned by her mom and her siblings. And the movie is set in North Carolina. After being abandoned by her family, she grew up alone in the marshlands, isolated from the main town. In, and during this time, she meets two guys. Yeah. When she was... Tate and Chase. Yes, Tate and Chase. And one of them ends up dead, and she is the prime suspect. And Kaya is somebody that is not even loved or even embraced in this town. So she's just the prime suspect because she's one staying in the marshlands and she has a relationship with them. We have to give it up for the cinematography in this yeah. movie because it's really like the way... The it, it was just kind of cool, all the pictures, the way they captured every emotion and everything was really yeah. nice. The way everything was panned into it was really good. This book by Delia Owens have sold over 50 million copies and with a note from Reese Witherspoon's um, book club. This movie, this book, have been everywhere. It was really popular, and at the same time, people have been skeptical right? because they are always. She's actually wanted for questioning in Zambia because she, herself and her husband actually lived in this isolated place in Zambia because they were very passionate about wildlife and um, poaching. So they were actually trying to fight poaching in the region, and as a result, someone was killed. And even as much as people have said that it's for a good cause, and, but at the bottom line is that someone was killed and they are needed for questioning. So this might seem like a spoiler for you, so tread carefully. Yeah, Something that's really of major concern for a lot of people is fact fiction. It, even though this killing is for a noble cause, just like in the book slash movie, where Kaya had to do whatever it takes to survive. So people are just saying, okay, is this a stand-in? Like, what, what, what's going on here? Why is this fiction so similar to what's going on in Dilia Owens' life? But I, I would say uh, fiction is not fact. So, yeah, it's just fiction, I guess. Then also, people have also said that the way blacks were portrayed in a, in a book and also in a movie, that there were just two black characters in this southern town and in the book, I didn't read the book, but people have said that the way the black character Mabel was portrayed, like they were always talking about her bosom in, uh, use the, as a description in the book. So it, it, it really started a lot of controversy because people were like, this is really stereotypical. In this modern time and age, people are still trying to portray blacks as this one-dimensional character. But I feel like it's the time in which the movie was set in the 1950s. 1950s. Yeah. So that's why it's going to be. Uh, yeah. I can understand how they portray the black characters. Then also people have said that Dylan Owens and her husband were actually trying to be white saviors. That yes, they were trying to fight poaching in the region, but why were they trying to do it on their own? So it's just a lot of things going on. But that doesn't take away the fact that this movie is actually really interesting. Yeah. Because you're just going through this movie and you're just saying, okay, did she do it or did she not do it? Kaya is this girl with her big eyes that will really draw you in yeah. to her character. She's just really good at it. This role is actually played by Daisy Edgar Jones, who was pretty good in her role yeah. and nice. And in a small, like, at a point, I, 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 I felt for the character. Although I didn't really feel for the character at the same time, but I felt for her. I, f I really felt for her because her father was abusive, like yeah. that even the parents, her mother and her siblings had to run away and leave this little girl. She was just, she was not even up to 10 when everybody left her. And she, was strong, she had to struggle with her abandonment issues. But at a point, I really wanted her to win the case because she was 
all hands just pointed to us like oh this she has to be the one the marsh girl because these people in the society this small town already cooked up a lot of stories about this girl that oh she's this she's that she's this she's a wolf she's all sort of things like what people always do to people who are not like them who are outsiders so that's that's it but at the same time i i said okay this girl is poor mm? Mm -hmm. we know you're poor however your house is really nice it's not like it's not going to be the best the house was not it's nice not the best the house area. in the world but the house is nice she had a bed she had a sofa she had a um, book shelf the house was nice in my own humble opinion it was okay. I like. I just like how isolated it is. It's just really it's, cool. It's isolated. I get it. But I, at the same time, I, I, I feel like okay. Yes, the only thing that I really felt for her was that she was alone. That's the only I thing. Not, <laughs> I, I when she grew up, yes, was a little girl. It's not ideal for a little yeah. girl to be alone on her own like that. However, I felt like oh, this is suffering. This is not suffering now. Like, this girl is comfortable. She has water. She has access to water at her own bowl. It's feeding and just how she could feed herself. Her house was okay. She also could do those for herself. That's and just it. But she didn't even have to lock her doors. Yeah, um, she could sleep outside. <laughs> See, so, it, 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 and now I said earlier that, yes, we, I can feel sorry for her. Just because she was abandoned. Not because she's suffering. Her environment was serene, clean. I can, I can guarantee that the Okay, I don't, cannot guarantee that because I've never been around the marsh before. I don't know if the air is clean, but I, I think it is. Yeah, it should be pure. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. I, I just felt like, okay, that part is like maybe putting more dirt, more grit to it will make us feel more sorry for the character. It, although you feel sorry for, for Kaya yeah. because at a point I said I wanted her to win so much. But at the same time, I felt like, okay, I can take this life. I can't. When you were watching the movie at first, were you were you hooked, or you're like, oh, what's going, what's happening? I was interested in well because it was it it had such a wild audience already, and people are interested in this movie a lot and this book. So I really want and guess what the the movie has a, a soundtrack by Taylor Swift, yeah. Carolina. So everybody's interested in what this movie has to bring, and Reese Witherspoon was one that was one one that produced it. So I was interested in knowing what will happen. So I was, it was not a slow burn for me. I said, okay, so how did you kill this guy at the beginning? Okay, so you met this guy. Is it Tate that would die? No, yeah, I was, I was trying to say, which of the guy, which who is dying? I said, okay, Tate is not Chase, okay? Then I was just going through it because, oh, this little girl, so how did she... I didn't, I, there, was no, there was never a point in this movie where I was bored. I was not bored at all. At the beginning, I felt it was kind of slow. I was like, okay, please, what's going on? Then, moving on, it was, I just got hooked. And I like, oh, and I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. I was really happy watching it. I really enjoyed it. I was happy that she won. And the end really kind of blew my mind. So I was like, oh, what's going on? Really? She did it. <laughs> so I really loved it. I really give me spoilers. Anyway. So, um, yeah. I, I enjoyed the movie. I would rate it a solid four. Just because I wanted more dirt, more, more, um, like, okay. Because in as much as she was alone, she still had Tate. She had Mabel and Jumping the kind people who own um, a general store in the town. She still had the lawyer who was kind to her. She had Tate who taught her ABCs and she became a science, kind of like a scientist because she knew a lot about science. She was that smart yeah, and, she, and she could draw. She could draw. She became, a, she had her own book. And that's why I love her for her when she published her book. I was like, oh, yeah. yeah. I liked that publishing part a lot. I, I was really rooting for her. She was able to get her house. You know, I was expecting more a lot of people say it made them cry, it moved them to tears. It didn't really move me to tears. I was just, I was really upset. <laughs> the only reason I was really angry with was the father. Like he just projected his trust issues on this girl. So she really found it difficult to trust anybody. I don't think that the father projected any trust issues on this girl. I, because the girl just, he just struggles with abandonment issues. And he said, okay, the father wanted that, oh, don't trust anybody, the hey. outsider. But well, she was able to trust Tate. She was trusted it, it took time. It took time. And it took time for her to really trust and really connect with them. She trusted Jumping and Mabel. That's because they were nice to her. I won't even say if I projected it. I'll just say I'll say that it's that that pain that oh everybody left me alone here. That abandonment issue that she never had to like she said, like 
when she met Chase that okay yes she didn't really like Chase like that she knew there was something about off about Chase but at the same time she was no longer lonely because she and Tate were separated at that time so she was no longer lonely that's just I I feel like okay this girl really really needs love genuine love and I'm glad that she found out in Tate even though the journey there was really 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 not interesting. <laughs> Do you like Tate? Tate annoying me. Oh, angry. I don't like Tate. I like Tate. I, I, life is like that, so I, I don't really see any problem with Tate. I was glad he came back. I would have preferred if she just stayed on, continue staying on her own, move on and see life. That's just what I wanted for her. I don't want her to be stuck with any silly Tate. At the end of the day, she still stayed in her march and she was happy at the end of the day. I, I'm happy she was happy. I, I was rooting for her to win and I was glad she won. Yeah, and she was she was so sure she was going to like she was I was happy when she said no she was not going to take the plea deal she was going to not she would not let this put decide her fate so I was really happy for her yeah so it's solid four for me four two four this movie is going to be on Netflix for only a short while so you should see it before before it leaves it's yanked off Netflix and yeah that's basically our review it's a really nice movie if you're looking for something a periodic um drama and it's also mixed with romance mystery thriller. Um, thriller murder mystery so you know that, that's really a perfect blend because i would give it up for delia owen she really blended everything well and she was really touching touching a lot of important topics that that in society like abandonment issues like i've repeated over and over in this video uh, women and just Side, racism, sidelining of um, a lot of people, how we treat outsiders, people who are not like us, how we just, uh, that's a lot of things. It's really packed and she blended them beautifully. So, big up to Delia Owens, although this movie is controversial, but yeah, I, it was a nice one and yeah, I would highly recommend it. So, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Yeah. Bye. Goodbye.